G'day, Kev Poulton, Mayor of Wodonga, with our update for August following our council meeting. And as always, you can watch the entire meeting back online through our YouTube channel. Uh, everything's there on the Wodonga Council website. But I guess the idea of this is to give you some highlights of things that came for discussion at the council table and, uh, and update you on some of the decisions that have been made. So the good news is there are a couple of things coming up for you to have your say about. So keep an eye out on makewodongayours.com.au. Um, those things are our draft CCTV policy, which has gone out for your consideration and feedback, uh, along with our place naming committee, which uh, has a new policy. And we've also updated the charter. But the good news about this is uh, in the future, we'll be looking to you to hopefully come and help us as we name places within the city of Wodonga. Uh, we also had our physical activity strategy, uh, which will be there for you to provide feedback on. So whether you're an individual or you're part of a sporting club, um, just pay attention to how the uh, council pulls together um, and encourages an active community. We also had a couple of items up for adoption. One of those was the diversity, equity and inclusion policy, which got uh, ratified by the council and also our cultural services plan, both important documents for our, us to be able to make a, and continue to make uh, the city of Wodonga a great place to live. Uh, the other thing that's uh, gathered a bit of interest is the Wodonga Historical Society. They'll now get the support of council financially uh, to the tune of $23,500 a year over the coming three years uh, whilst being relocated and, and uh, I guess supporting the history of Wodonga with the Bona Gila migrant experience where they'll be their new home. Uh, it also allows them, where previously the money was spent for rent of their home, um, will now be used to 100% put back into um, making the collection uh, more available and better catalogued for the community well into the future so we can recognise the history of our city. So that's an exciting uh, development between them and the council working together for the best community outcome. Uh, we also had a tender awarded. This one was for the Wodonga Turf Club and the upkeep of the race course and the surrounding properties. That's a very efficient way um, for us to be able to make sure that asset is utilised uh, well in the future and is kept maintained, uh, ready for use. Obviously, we've had some hits with crowds and conferences and functions and things like that, but that doesn't mean that facility won't get used again in the future. So again, an efficiency um, that's been in place for some time. Uh, we'll see a useful um, course again for the council in the coming years ahead. Curbside waste, geez, we're all doing our best with the half waste campaign right throughout our region, not just in Wodonga, but it turns out uh, Wodonga in Victoria is the third ranked council uh, for diversion of waste into the correct areas. So we're doing really well, which is great. But um, this particular item that got endorsed by the council is about uh, the most cost effective and um, most beneficial way to sort out our waste and work with those shires around us uh, to have less impact on the environment. Now at the moment as it stands uh, what we've been doing has been industry leading and it's showing the results but obviously the Victorian government in the future may prefer for us to be involved in their waste so we'll continue to work with the councils around us and do all the things that are legislated but at the moment we're behind what we've been doing because we know it is uh, having an impact and is effective. Uh, the general revaluation of properties in Wodonga is now complete. This has been done by the Valuer General. Um, we received that feedback and information, the work that's done externally. I guess something to note is in, in uh, further times away, uh, the council used to be responsible for this. This is now done for all 79 councils in Victoria through the one method. Um, so we've seen that information come forward. That's now complete, which allows us to now issue the rates notice. Our streets and roads in Wodonga, we all use them and we had some tenders come before us for council in August to approve, which we did so unanimously on each and every case. These were the tenders for the dig out and stabilisation works, the road renewal minor works, and also the asphalting and spray seal programs. And as always, each and every month, if you want to see a bit more detail about what's happening within our city, you can look at some of our tabled reports that are really for the information of councillors. Those reports include the planning report, the building report, the competitive services report, uh, the record of meetings and the decisions register as well. And we did have an item of confidential business relating to a sale of land in the future. That's going through the process at the moment. Keep an eye out on the Wodonga Council website for information where you'll be able to put your feedback into that process. And as I said, uh, make Wodonga yours. Easy way to give us feedback on things that's happening, makewodongayours.com.au. Keep an eye on the socials as you're finding this video there and uh, we'll catch up next month.